Hi guys, and thank you for joining me for my first Let's Play Skyrim series. This is going to be the ultimate thief playthrough, as you can tell from the intro. I actually have a lot more mods installed besides those five, but those are the mods I feel are really going to define this character. Um, as you can tell, I'm really picky about the looks. Um, I sped this up really fast, but it took me over 15 minutes just to get that you know, Johnny Depp, Captain Sparrow look, um, you know, minus the dreadlocks. And um, I think it looks pretty good. I'm uh, going to name him Vistro. I don't know if that is very lore-friendly, but his name is going to be Vistro. I think it sounds cool. Um, there are a few mods we need to set up before jumping in, and the first one is Disparity, Classic Classes, and Greater Racial Abilities. Um, this is a mod that takes me back to Morrowind and Oblivion, and one of the things I like most about the class systems is you were able to create a character that starts off as strong or as weak as you'd like, and... For me, this is where you can kind of create a really cool backstory that reflects your character's starting stats. So, um, all the skills start out as level 5. As you pick your race and your class, you get bonuses to those skills. So, as an Imperial, we get 5 points for Restoration, Enchantment, Block, and One-Handed. And then we get a 10-point bonus to Heavy Armor and a 15-point bonus to Speechcraft. We're also going with the Thief class, so we're going to get an extra 20 points for Sneak, Lockpicking, Pickpocket, and Speechcraft. Um, as their major skills, and then 10 points for Light Armor and Alchemy as the minor skills. So, the other thing about this um, mod is you can pick your um, standing stone or burst sign. Um, in Morrowind and Oblivion, you had a burst sign, and in Skyrim, it's the standing stones. But uh, I'm going to go with the shadow for the ability to turn invisible once a day, and then I'm also going to make it so it is... Um, permanent, so I can't change it. And then, just because I've got a higher level, I'm going to go ahead and throw in some perk points, because you automatically got perks before, um, so I'm going to give one perk for each skill. The next uh, mod that I need to set up is our Thieves Guild Requirements. So, this is a mod that um, is going to be, again, like Morrowind, where you have certain requirements to progress in the um, guild quest line. So, just to start, before Brynjolf will even approach you, I need to have a 50 in Sneak. I need to have uh, pick 25 pockets and stolen 500 items. Um, and then I'm also going to set the um, requirements for the third and fourth quest, um, where I'm going to have to have for the third quest a 50 level Sneak, 35 level lock picking and Pickpocket, and then also um, completed 10 Radiant Quests. And then for the fourth quest to begin, um, we need to have a 75 in sneak, um, a 55 in lock picking, and uh, a 55 in pickpocket, and complete 20 radiant quests. So you know, there's a little bit of work um, to to progress. So it's not going to be the rush of going from one quest to another and just finishing the quest line. Um, it will be a little bit of work involved. So um, I'm setting the skills up a little bit higher because of the disparity mod. So. Um, I'm not going to change it unless I feel that I'm not um, advancing those certain skills as quickly as they should. But they should advance faster than normal. Um, and then, I guess all that's left is, is Vistro's backstory. Um, you know, Vistro, uh, he was born in Cyrodiil near the end of the Great War. He was raised by his uncle in the waterfront district of the Imperial City where his parents died. And his uncle trained at the Bard's College in Skyrim, which was one of the reasons that um, Vistor decided to head to Skyrim is because his uncle had some friends there that would help him out. And um, the reason Vistra went to Skyrim, of course, um, you know, his silver tongue ended up getting him good with the local Thieves Guild, where he idolized the Grace Fox, but it didn't take him on to get in trouble there and um, the local authorities. And, you know, he had to leave and start all over again. Um, and so he's going to land in solitude. And that's where Adventures begins. Now, what we're going to do is, is try to make it from Solitude to Riften. And, uh, you know, by the time we get to Riften, hopefully we'll meet all the requirements to join the Thieves Guild. So that's it for now. And hopefully we'll see you again for the first episode. Thanks.